Just a few days after Park Jimin returned to his parents' hometown, the Young Sil conglomerate dispatched a team of expert surveyors to the city of Tianmen to conduct a thorough investigation. Is this Tianmen? Looks rather impoverished, as Chairman Bakian remarked. Tianmen City is not a focal point of development in the province, nor does it boast any notable cultural landmarks or scenic attractions to draw tourists. However, Tianmen City possesses certain potentials to evolve into a leading modern city. Exactly, Chairman O, oh, with a colossal investment capital of up to 100 billion. Tianmen City can indeed generate unique and enticing features, turning the non-existent into existent, fostering distinctiveness and breakthroughs. The construction of a film city in this impoverished locality holds promise for yielding substantial benefits to the local economy. Therefore, upon the survey team's arrival, they were warmly greeted. We warmly welcome Young Sil Television to visit Tianmen City for project assessment. Ms. O oh Young Sil, welcome, welcome to our Tianmen City. On behalf of the city's leadership, I warmly welcome you here. The vehicles are ready. Let's proceed. At noon today, the survey team from Young Sil Conglomerate had a meeting and engaged with the leadership of Tianmen City. As soon as they learned that this was not an ordinary project, but a film studio project worth hundreds of billion dong, likely to be implemented in the city, the leaders couldn't hide their immense joy. The radiant smiles on their faces clearly showed their elation. This is truly a golden opportunity for Tianmen City. In no time, Oh Young Sil and the survey team quickly reached an initial cooperation idea with the city leaders. Our city leadership is committed to providing the strongest support for this project. The next task is to meet with the management officials of the Department of Natural Resources and Environment. Then, the team will discuss compensation issues with the local residents, involving land totaling up to 1 million acres, including not only fallow land but also farmland, mountain forests, and local residents' homes. Dealing with the reclamation of fallow land, farmland, and mountain forests seems relatively straightforward. However, compensating and resettling residents from housing areas will be much more complex. This is a major obstacle that needs careful consideration to ensure the balanced interests of all parties in order to resolve compensation for 1 million acres of land for the project. The compensation fees are higher than initially anticipated, but still within acceptable limits. Overall, everything is progressing extremely smoothly. Chairman O, this area is the land we've surveyed. Chairman Bakian's intentions are not simply to make small profits. Indeed, with this 100 billion investment, his goal is to generate profits tenfold, reaching up to one trillion. This is the bold and intelligent move of a skilled investor. However, what the Young Sil conglomerate survey team did not expect was that just two hours after they signed the cooperation agreement with the city leadership, this information leaked at the Ji clan conglomerate's headquarters. Chairman Ji, we have some hot off the press updates. Young Sil conglomerate is highly likely to invest in a film studio project worth hundreds of billions in Tanmen City. The proposed location revealed is in the northern outskirts, about 30 kilometers from the city center. Ji Chiu He narrowed her eyes, her gaze cunning like a lifelong fox. Can this information be trusted? Is there absolutely no mistake? Rest assured, Chairman Ji. The informant asserts that this information is entirely accurate. The authorities in that city have already confirmed it. All right, you've done well. The funds will be transferred this afternoon. Ji Cho He pursed her lips, wearing a smile full of calculation. All done. We've identified a preliminary location for our film studio base in Tianmen. Immediately summon the finance department. Seize this opportunity to arrange for the acquisition of land within the project. When the time is right, we'll sell it back to the Yang Silk conglomerate at a high price. There's potential for significant profit. Yes, sir. I'll promptly summon the finance team. Ji Cho He took a drag of her cigarette, the smoke swirling around her weathered face, her eyes full of contemplation. He he, Chairman Bakian, I can't quite fathom you, but I'll use your momentum to acquire a large amount of land in the project area. In just a few months, the value of this land could double, triple, even increase fivefold or tenfold. This is indeed a lucrative opportunity. I trust you wouldn't mind, would you? Ha ha ha. As soon as the G clan learned of the film studio project, the news spread. Ju Cho He has found out that Chairman Bakian has chosen Tan Men as the location for the film studio project, preparing to buy land and make a profit on the difference. We need to act fast too. 
Within minutes, major conglomerates such as Long River Agriculture Group, Quan Family Group, a group, Red Earth Group, and Jum Family Group all swiftly received news about the city of Tianmen. Ah, Tianmen? All right, someone said, I'll immediately mobilize funds. Regardless of how the location for the Cinema City development unfolds, we still need to prepare early. Who knows, luck might smile upon us, and we'll get a share of the pie. Time is of the essence. I'll immediately dispatch someone to tan men. Even if we can't buy land, we can still make money by opening other services within Chairman Back in Cinema City. We're sure to make a fortune. Yes, I'll head to tan men right away. Oh, I've gone all in on tan men. Before half a day had passed, Tianmen City suddenly turned into a land frenzy. Hundreds of companies large and small from all over flocked here, crowding the streets and causing severe traffic congestion. Car horns blared. People shouted loudly. More bustling than a market. Damn it. Hurry up. Those ahead. I'm in a hurry to make money here. Who do you think you are? Everyone's out to make money. Buy. We must buy. I must quickly buy a piece of land here. Chairman Bakun, making so much money. A sip of soup isn't even worth it, right? At this moment, Park Jimin was busy cutting watermelons. Old man going out is really enjoyable. When the melons in the field ripen, there's nobody paying attention. It's such a waste to throw them away like this. Meanwhile, news about the selection of the Cinema City construction site was leaked. This was not good news for Oh Young Sil and the conglomerate's project. Land acquisition would become more difficult, competition fiercer, and investment costs would soar. After the emergency meeting ended, Oh Young Sil immediately called Park Jimin. Park Jimin, you truly are foolish. You've messed up. I don't know who leaked the information about the Cinema City construction site. Now land prices in Tianmen are skyrocketing. Upon hearing this, Park Jimin couldn't help but rejoice inwardly. Land prices are rising. That means we'll have to spend more money. It's a good thing. He then confidently remarked, Turns out it's just a small matter. All Jai lose concerns, they don't affect anything. We can still continue to collaborate with the city leadership. As for Zai Lu's money problem, it can be solved with money. There's nothing that can't be done. Oh Young Sil was extremely concerned about the soaring land prices, which could far exceed the initial estimates, even reaching astronomical figures. But such a significant issue being trivialized by Park Jimin left Oh Young Sil incredulous, prompting her to inquire. Park Jimin, what are you saying? This is a big deal. Um, Young Sil. Listen, you're saying this is easily solvable. You'll transfer the money to me. That's it. At the place where you're currently having weak signals. Upon hanging up the phone, Park Jimin couldn't help but feel triumphant. Another place to spend money. Indeed, this time the advantage is mine. Without hesitation, Park Jimin transferred an additional 100 billion to O Young Sil. But this time a dialogue box appeared, reminding, are you continuing to transfer funds to the public account of Young Sil Broadcasting Corporation? Park Jimin confirmed again, and the system displayed another reminder. The transfer cannot be made because the beneficiary of this company is the owner, and money cannot be transferred from the system to lick a dog's mouth. The failed transfer left Park Jimin bewildered, unable to transfer. Oh Young Sil opened the company, and the beneficiary is me. Why is that? Park Jimin had not foreseen this situation at all and he continued to analyze. In theory, although Oh Young Sil is the legal entity of the company, in reality, the system judges that the actual beneficiary is me, so the system believes that I am transferring money to myself blatantly. This situation left Park Jimin in a dilemma. He began seeking ways to resolve it without compromising his plans. After some contemplation, he picked up the phone again, initiating a new course of action. This time, he transferred the money into Oh Young Sil's personal account. However, the system once again displayed a reminder. Are you continuing to transfer funds to Oh Young Sil's personal account? Park Jimin confirmed again. The transfer cannot be made, as the owner's behavior is associated with money laundering. This time, Park Jimin was truly puzzled. What's going on? Money laundering. How can I invest 100 billion like this? Am I, the Chairman Bakyun, trying to deceive? I'm not the type of person who doesn't keep his word. Park Jimin furrowed his brows, meticulously reconsidering. It's possible that the system has predicted that after receiving this amount, Oh Young Sil will focus on investing in the Film City project, and ultimately, the money will flow into my pocket. 
It seems that transferring funds to the other side is currently not feasible. The more he thought, the tighter part Jimin's brows became. As long as the Film City project is separated into a new independent company, with a legal representative and the sole shareholder being other strawmen, the transfer can be carried out. Thinking to himself, Park Jimin glanced towards Wan Meng Meng. An idea sparked in his mind. The only solution is to transfer the money to Wan Meng Meng, allowing her to establish her own company, and then proceed with the transaction. Meng Meng is the designated strawman, which means that giving her the money will directly affect her favorability rating. If her favorability rating exceeds 95 points, the reward will increase to a huge amount. Besides, Meng Meng is my sister, so no matter how she uses that money, I won't feel heartbroken. It's a win-win situation. Wang Meng Meng tilted her head curiously and asked, Jimin, who did you just call, your girlfriend? Part Jimin replied honestly, Oh Young Sil called just now. She wants to be my girlfriend, but I need to consider it carefully. Wang Meng Meng hugged a watermelon slice, giving Part Jimin a meaningful look. Don't fool around. She's a big star, and now she's even starting her own company and planning to build a film studio. I know you're wealthy, but it's best not to dream about these kinds of big stars. Wang Meng Meng's words left Part Jimin speechless. He chuckled before changing the subject. Meng Meng, you're quite savvy, aren't you? But I just heard that Oh Young Sil intends to build this film studio in her own city, Tan Men. Now that you have money too, do you want to earn some extra spending money? Wang Meng Meng's eyes lit up, revealing a money-minded expression. What? How can we make money in our Tian Men? Park Jimin explained, Look, our village has a lot of land. Buy it all up. If the film studio chooses to build in our village, you'll make a fortune. Even if it's not here, just building in Tian Men, we can rely on tourism to make money. The film studio can attract a lot of people, and with the crowd, you can do business. Resorts, farming, greenhouse gardening, anything. It's promising. Wang Meng Meng pondered for a while, realizing Park Jimin's words made sense. Even if the Film City project isn't built in my village, having it in Tian Men still brings many benefits. When construction starts, people from elsewhere will flock back to develop their hometown. At that time, investing in models like vegetable farms, fruit orchards, and livestock farms will have abundant consumption without worrying about unprofitability. Moreover, the money I have now is given by Park Jimin, not my own. I can't just let Park Jimin spend it for me. I have to strive for independence in the future. Wang Meng Meng, after speaking, hurriedly walked away. Like a newborn calf unafraid of tigers, Park Jimin, I think you're absolutely right. I'll go talk to the village chief and gather everyone for a discussion. Watching Wang Meng Meng leave eagerly, Park Jimin couldn't help but think, this girl dares to think and act. If she really succeeds, it would be quite good. Away from the hustle and bustle of the city, having a peaceful place with beautiful scenery for free. However, Wang Meng Meng is still young. I hope this won't affect her. At that moment, several luxurious Bentleys were driving into the village. Not only were these cars expensive, but they were also limited edition versions, priced at over 10 million. As they arrived in front of Park Jimin, the car suddenly stopped and the doors were gently opened by bodyguards. A petite figure stepped out gracefully, lightly touching the ground. A young girl adorned in a cute princess dress exuded sweetness and charm. Two tall bodyguards stood on either side, emanating a formidable presence. Zheng Ji Lu muttered to herself, What kind of place is this? There's not even a decent road. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. After speaking, she approached Park Jimin and asked, You're Park Jimin, right? And who are you? Zheng Ji Lu curiously looked at Park Jimin while introducing herself. I'll introduce myself a bit. I'm Zheng Ji Lu, Chairman Bakian's assistant. Nice to meet you again. Park Jimin, looking displeased, retorted, Nice to meet you. Who are you? As soon as Park Jimin returned to the village, Zheng Dick had already anticipated his intention to build a film city in Tianmen. Therefore, the leakage of project information was not beyond his expectations. Moreover, Zheng Dick held a grudge against Park Jimin for the previous car exhibition incident. Furthermore, he was also enraged by Yang Wai, deleting him from WeChat, which made him feel humiliated. He learned that Chairman Bakyun was a lecherous person. Zheng Dick decided to send his younger sister to Tan Men, ostensibly to discuss cooperation, 
but in reality, he intended to exploit every scheme to undermine Park Jimin. Back to the moment when Park Jimin and Jung Jin Lu greeted each other. Sorry, I have a bad memory. I don't think we've met before, have we? Jung Ji Lu, feeling a bit sad, replied, Oh, you don't remember? It was at the car exhibition. I was there with my brother, Jung, the eldest son. Park Jimin furrowed his brow, trying to recall. If she says so, then yes, there was a girl standing next to that brat, Jung Dick. Observing Park Jimin's reaction, Jung Ji Lu also furrowed her brows, pondering, I've heard that Chairman Bakyun is quite flirtatious, often mooing women. Yet he doesn't seem to remember me at all. No matter, I'll make sure he remembers me forever. Remembering Jung Ji Lu, Park Jimin didn't beat around the bush and went straight to the point. All right, Jung Ji Lu, what brings you here? Instead of directly answering, Jung Ji Lu glanced at Park Jimin's neighbors, her gaze filled with implication. Chairman Bakyun often entertains guests from outside. Why not invite me into the house to discuss matters? Park Jimin glanced at the curious neighbors, briefly furrowing his brow. I didn't expect to see a few luxury cars parked here, attracting so many onlookers. It's true that one shouldn't flaunt too much in the countryside. After some hesitation, Park Jimin reluctantly nodded. All right, you can park your cars on the roadside and then follow me. Just be careful not to damage anyone's crops. The arrival of the luxury convoy directly disrupted the peace of this rural village. The neighbors gathered more and more, but the tall bodyguard standing guard made them hesitant to approach and inquire. Nevertheless, whispers and gossip continued to echo in front of Park Jimin's house. Looks like Jimin must be doing big business in the city. Now he's back in the village flaunting his wealth. Yeah, with those luxury cars, he must be very wealthy. Stepping into the house, Jung Ji Lu remained silent. She was quite surprised to see such an old and dilapidated house, which Chairman Bakyun could also be living in. Part Jimin, losing patience, spoke up again. Well, talk about the purpose of your visit here. Seeing Part Jimin being straightforward, Jung Ji Lu also got straight to the point. Does Chairman Bakyun think I'm too young and insignificant to talk to you? Are you planning to deceive potential investors? Don't pretend anymore. You may fool others, but not me. Park Jimin didn't understand the thing but found her blunt approach intriguing. Ha! Huh. What plan? Deceive what? Thinking Park Jimin was pretending to be ignorant, Jung Ji Lu began reciting the prepared script by Jung Dick, which he had analyzed for her to present. Chairman Bakyun, let me be clear. No matter how clever your plan is, it won't escape the scrutiny of me and the Jung family. Speaking of this, Jung Ji Lu smiled knowingly as if he had grasped Park Jimin's intentions. Chairman Bakyun, I admit that you are a discreet individual, capable of controlling the overall situation, and enjoy manipulating others as pawns. Many have become puppets in your hands. However, you have made some serious mistakes. Firstly, you leaked information about the 100 billion film studio project led by Oh Young Sil, and as soon as the project was announced, it immediately made waves in society, attracting the attention of millions of netizens. Since then, the name Chairman Bakyun has become famous on social media. However, surprisingly, such an important project was entrusted to Young Sil TV, a newly established company less than a month old. Most of Young Sil TV's management team come from the film industry, with Oh Young Sil herself being an actress, lacking experience in managing a company, let alone handling large investment projects. Yet you entrusted a 100 billion project to such a motley crew. Isn't this a trap? Furthermore, the management team has many loopholes, making it easy for commercial spies to infiltrate and gather confidential information. Ironically, these spies didn't realize that leaking the company's confidential information might have been part of your plan. It may even be a part of your scheme. Rumors are spreading, and they all see this as an opportunity to get rich, especially as land prices soar. People are practically going insane, including investors, sensing blood in the water, flocking in. Some are so crazed that they borrow from banks. Mortgaging projects already underway rush to tie in men to snatch up land. In the end, your plan is to cut off all their resources. It's truly a clandestine operation. After listening and analyzing, Park Jimin's facial expression remained utterly composed, without a hint of disturbance. Yet inwardly, he was laughing hysterically. Ah, look at me, playing it cool. Who would have thought that this sum of money was meant for such a dirty scheme? It wasn't intentional on my part. 
but it seems you've all misunderstood. However, shortly after, part Jimin continued to sink into contemplation. Initially, I had no intention of carrying out this plan, but after hearing her analysis, I realized that failing to follow through would betray your trust. Observing part Jimin's reaction, Jung Ji Lu couldn't help but raise his estimation of him even further. To be exposed like that and still maintain such composure, this man's depths are truly unfathomable. No wonder my brother is so obstinate. Yet upon learning Chairman Bakyan's plan, he immediately abandoned his own intentions. He couldn't possibly confront someone like this. At this point, Park Jimin appeared enigmatic, while also not forgetting to offer Jung Ji Lu a word of praise. Your analysis was spot on. I didn't expect someone so young to possess such profound knowledge. I had underestimated you. Upon receiving praise from Park Jimin, Jung Ji Lu smiled confidently, his gaze displaying determination. I'm here primarily as a representative of the Jung family to discuss cooperation with Chairman Bakyun. At that moment, the voice of Wang Meng Meng echoed from outside. What are you people doing? This is my house. Let me in. What's going on? How come you don't understand anything? Where did this brat come from? Get lost. Just as Lam Zi Lu began to delve into the topic of extensive cooperation, Wang Meng Meng returned. She had just arrived home, intending to find Park Jimin to share some good news when she unexpectedly encountered two burly bodyguards in black uniforms blocking her path at the large door. Seeing Wang Meng Meng attempting to push through, one of the guards immediately restrained her. I'm sorry, but there are important discussions taking place inside. You cannot enter. Upon hearing Wang Meng Meng's voice, Park Jimin also hurriedly stepped outside. As he emerged from the door, he saw one of the guards restraining his sister, his face darkening with anger, shouting loudly, What are you people doing? Let go of my sister. However, the tall bodyguard, despite hearing Park Jimin's words, remained unmoved, gripping Wang Meng Meng's arm tightly without releasing her. Then, his gaze shifted towards Zheng Ji Lu, awaiting instructions, completely disregarding Park Jimin. Zheng Ji Lu glanced at Wang Meng Meng, particularly captivated by her radiant beauty surpassing his own, igniting jealousy within him. Normally, Park Jimin is calm and composed, but this time, he's getting worked up over his sister, quite intriguing. This is an opportunity to test his limits. Next, Zheng Ji Lu pondered on Park Jimin's reception inside, sensing Wang Meng Meng's aristocratic temperament emerging. She glanced elsewhere, disregarding Park Jimin's request to release Wang Meng Meng. Park Jimin also noticed Zheng Ji lose deliberate provocation, his tone lowering. What are you playing at? Immediately after, his hand clenched into a fist, containing anger and indignation. Five seconds later, Park Jimin exerted force into his legs, charging straight towards the tall bodyguard. The tall bodyguard, standing at 1.9 meters, barely registered a figure darting past him accompanied by the whistling wind in his ears. Immediately thrown into the air like a puppet, Park Jimin then shouted loudly, Get lost! After tumbling several rounds in the air, the bodyguard landed somewhat clumsily, stirring up a cloud of dust that obscured the view. Zheng Ji Lu and the remaining guards all widened their eyes, mouths agape, unable to believe what they were witnessing. How could this happen? My guards are all ex-Special Forces soldiers, rumored to be able to handle ten opponents at once. Yet they couldn't withstand a blow from Park Jimin. Isn't it true that the wealthier you are, the weaker your health becomes? My elder brother climbed two flights of stairs and was already sweating profusely, yet this guy is as strong as a machine. Park Jimin withdrew his hand, gently patting Wang Meng Meng's head with concern. Are you okay now? At this moment, Zheng Ji Lu couldn't explain the strange emotions welling up inside her finding Park Jimin increasingly captivating. His jet-black eyes exuded intelligence and sharpness, possessing an irresistible allure. The more I look, the more entranced I become. Park Jimin is completely different from the wealthy young men I've encountered before. He's a true man, the kind of man I've been longing for. Kang. Lick Dog. Action Initiated. Full name Zhang Ji Lu, 18 years old. Height 162 centimeters. Weight 46 kilograms. Beauty score 90 points. The female student has no favorable impression towards the owner. Successfully binding the dog-lick relationship, making the female student's favorability towards the owner exceed 95 points. Then successfully reverse-rated, identity transformed. 
the other party will become the owner's dog lick. Reverse raid completed. Reward 10% of the dog lick's expenses in cash. Reward enhancement points 30 points. Reward skills. Proficient in drawing. Proficient in singing. Proficient in go. As soon as the binding system was activated, Part Jimin also glanced at Jung Ji Lu, making him incredulous. This high school looking girl is already 18 years old. Luckily, the system didn't bind me with a minor. After considering for a while, Park Jimin felt he could still accept it. Then he let Wang Meng Meng in front of Zhang Ji Lu, his voice full of anger. Is this your cooperative attitude? In my territory, you don't give me any face. Or do you think I dare not touch the Zhang family? Wang Meng Meng asked curiously. Oh, who are they? She's Zhang Ji Lu, here to discuss business with you. But it doesn't seem to be going well. Zhang Ji Lu, naturally arrogant. Now feeling slighted by Park Jimin's comments, couldn't help but feel angry. Wang Meng Meng looked at Zhang Ji Lu and assessed for a moment. She looks even younger than me. Yet she's already starting a business. Quite impressive. The atmosphere suddenly became awkward. Zhang Ji Lu hesitantly said, Well, it's my fault. These bodyguards are my brothers coming to find me. They never listen to me. Are you satisfied? Park Jimin said solemnly, I can't say I'm satisfied. If there's a next time, our cooperation will be considered finished. Park Jimin was about to lecture her further, but Wang Meng Meng quickly intervened. Big brother, why so fierce? You've scared the other girl. Hi, I'm Wang Meng Meng. Oh, I'm Zhang Ji Lu. Hi. Meng Meng, how old are you? I'm 18. And you? I'm also 18. What a coincidence. When's your birthday? Mine's June 29th. Wow. Mine's also June 29th. I didn't expect us to share the same birthday. This time, not only Wang Meng Meng and Zhang Ji Lu, but even Park Jimin was astonished. The slightly unpleasant atmosphere gradually dissipated because of this incident. Subsequently, the two girls began to become more open, no longer hiding anything from each other. The more they talked, the more they realized they shared common interests and passions. Sister, did you forget that your big brother is still here? Girls these days are so natural. After half a day of heartfelt conversation, the two girls talked until they were hoarse, making Park Jimin's headache. Even the two girls didn't realize that this seemingly random encounter would become a crucial turning point in their lives, especially in terms of their future roles. Zhang Ji Lu skillfully extracted information about Park Jimin from Wang Meng Meng. What was your brother like before? He's a man of few words. Even when he was little, he used to sneakily eat watermelons from other people's gardens. Wang Meng Meng recounted with enthusiasm, adding a touch of mischief, which made Zhang Jin Lu burst into laughter. Park Jimin shook his head as he sat picking green beans, listening to the two girls chatting. This surprising expose was revealed to Zhang Ji Lu by Wang Meng Meng herself, Park Jimin's own sister. However, Zhang Ji Lu not only gathered information, but also shared what Zhang Dick had investigated with Wang Meng Meng. Park Jimin isn't just an ordinary student, he's also a successful young entrepreneur, owning his own projects and making money very well. Listening to Zhang Ji Lu talk about her brother, Wang Meng Meng couldn't help but be amazed. Oh my god! Really? That's amazing! No wonder Big Brother is so outstanding. No wonder he can easily pull out 100 million financially. I didn't realize he was so capable. If it weren't for Zhang Ji Lu telling me, I wouldn't have known anything. My brother truly is a genuine treasure trove of a guy. I haven't fully explored him yet. Praising him a few words made you blush, thinking, he's a conceited guy. At this point, Wang Meng Meng also had a new perspective on Park Jimin. Thoughts of Park Jimin's criminal behavior had disappeared, and instead, she felt extremely proud and also more at ease. Wang Meng Meng's favorability increased by 10 points, bringing her current favorability to 35 points. After learning about Park Jimin's childhood watermelon theft secret, Zhang Ji Lu also had a new view of Park Jimin. Behind Park, Jimin's cold and serious exterior, he is also a normal person with moments of joy and sadness mischievous like anyone else. The relationship between Park Jimin and Wang Meng Meng is truly good, especially considering his possession of billions worth of assets. Yet Park Jimin chooses to live a secluded life in the mountains. His insight and vision, I fear, have reached the realm of a sage, and behind his humble appearance lies a cunning and calculating Park Jimin.
At first, I didn't fully understand Park Jimin's calculations. Park Jimin once spent 100 million on a female streamer in one night, and he spent a billion buying three cars for his three sisters. At the time, people thought he was a spendthrift. But through our conversations, I realized that Park Jimin is not as simple as rumors suggest. Moreover, Park Jimin not only possesses extraordinary intelligence, but also has strong combat abilities. How can there be such a perfect person in the world? I always feel he harbors many secrets. The more Jung Ji Lu thought, the faster her heart beat than usual. The more she thought, the more she felt that Park Jimin was no longer the lofty chairman back in, but rather a young man with simple, adorable traits. Jung Ji Lu's favorability increased by 10 points, bringing her current favorability to 10 points. Darkness slowly enveloped the countryside, painting a completely different picture from the sparkling lights of the city. The night was as dark as velvet, casting its hue upon every street, every house, every corner of the garden, leaving only the sky above still bright with shimmering stars. Jung Ji Lu suddenly asked, Park Jimin, can I stay at your place? Park Jimin gracefully declined. What? Stay over. It's not very comfortable. There are plenty of boarding houses outside. You can find a place to rest at your convenience. Besides, my house has mice. Jung Ji Lu coaxed. Boarding houses in the countryside aren't very good. This village doesn't even have a five-star inn. Everything is too dirty. I can't stay. Park Jimin remained resolute. What's the problem? If you can't stay, you can always go home. And besides, you think I'm very close to you, don't you? When it comes to business, it's business. What does it have to do with me? Get lost. I won't see you off. This time coming here wasn't just to discuss cooperation. Jung Ji Lu also wanted to investigate the true identity and background of Chairman Bakyun. Only by being beside him could she uncover more clues. How could she easily leave without satisfying her curiosity? Moreover, such a big secret couldn't go unexplored. Therefore, Jung Ji Lu switched to a pleading tone. I want to experience rural life, how about it? Rare days of leisure, not many people at your place. Why not? That's also not allowed, guys and girls alone. Wang Meng Meng jumped in to intervene. Oh dear, if Jian Lu wants to stay a few days, you should indulge her. I'll go tidy up a room for her. At this point, Park Jimin also felt truly helpless. Furthermore, his younger sister kept staring at him without relenting, her eyes constantly changing, even annoying Park Jimin. After enduring Wang Meng Meng's intense gaze for a while, Park Jimin finally compromised. All right, I'll go along with it. Just don't cause trouble. Hearing this, Zheng Ji Lu and Wang Meng Meng rejoiced ecstatically, dancing and celebrating. However, neither of the two girls knew that behind Park Jimin's pretense, he had carefully considered this matter. She's too kind-hearted. She has no idea that this is inviting the wolf into the house, pretending to experience rural life, thinking it's so enjoyable leaving her here for two days to see if she'll make a fuss and demand to return to the city. Honestly, I'm not particularly interested in making money, but if I can harvest a wave of appointments, I wouldn't mind cooperating with the Jung family, because the money earned is personal property, not considered the system's licking dog money. I can spend it as I please. By leaving Jung Ji Lu behind to come up with a plan, Park Jimin achieved his goal, making her very pleased. Hemph, I must stick close to Park Jimin. I must dig out his shocking secrets. Lying on the bed, Park Jimin continued to ponder. The key issue is how to take advantage of the current situation to cut the mustard. Collaborating with the Jung family is a great choice. The Jung family can not only attract many investors to Time Men City, but also open up many relationships. This step will help me expedite the progress of the new film studio project, influence government decisions, reclaim land, and execute cutting-edge operations. Therefore, I can only rely on the Joan family to handle the dirty and heavy work while I stay behind the scenes. When the time is right, all I need to do is reap the benefits. But the Jum family only sent a girl here, Jung Ji Lu. Can she be trusted? Part Jimin was deeply suspicious. Moreover, that brat Jung Dick, isn't he afraid of what I might do to his sister? Perhaps the Jung family sent Jung Ji Lu here not hoping for her success. Or, they deliberately fed her false information to probe me, making me lower my guard. Or, they want to appear cooperative on the surface, but actually have malicious intentions. Indeed, the horse flea catches the horse, and the sparrow lurks behind. So, I'll counterplot accordingly. After all, Jung Ji Lu is also a target of the licking dog. 
Of course, I won't hesitate to throw money at her. Even giving her tens of billions won't be a problem. Park Jimin narrowed his eyes and continued to think. Using the assets and current power of the Jung family to interfere with my affairs won't pose a real threat to me. They must be targeting the land and tan men. Well, let it be. I won't dwell on it anymore. However, I'll only benefit from this situation. Let's see if Jung Ji Lu can handle that brat. Time to sleep. As Park Jimin drifted off to sleep, the crisp laughter of the two girls echoed into the room. Ha 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 ha. Oh my Meng Meng. You look so beautiful in this outfit. Oh my goodness, there's no comparison. Ji Lu, your outfit looks even better. Part Jimin buried his face into the pillow, trying to block out the noisy laughter of the two girls, but the sound felt like sharp needles piercing his ears, making him extremely uncomfortable. Women are noisy, no matter their age. My mistake, forgive me. Ji Lu, I won't dare anymore. Ha ha ha. After enduring a night of torture for his ears, Part Jimin could finally fall asleep later. However, as he woke up early in the morning, he was greeted by the loud noise from outside. The mixed sounds of people chatting and machines banging ringing in his ears, making it impossible for him to continue sleeping. Irritated, he threw the blanket off his body and sat up. What time is it? Why is it so noisy early in the morning? Unable to tolerate it any longer, Park Jimin staggered out of bed and walked to the door to see what was happening. As soon as Jung Ji Lu spotted Park Jimin, she greeted him with a sweet smile. Oh, Park Jimin, you're awake. Good morning. Ignoring her, Park Jimin continued walking outside, only to be met with a chaotic scene that left him feeling a bit dizzy. The adjacent room had been completely flattened by Zhang Ji Lu with machinery, leaving only the bare walls and piles of debris scattered around. Park Jimin felt utterly helpless and couldn't help but start scolding angrily. Zhang Ji Lu, what are you up to? I kindly let you stay here for the night, and you wreck my house like this. Park Jimin couldn't believe that Jung Ji Lu wanted to completely renovate the entire house. He severely underestimated the capabilities of this young entrepreneur. Within just an hour, the renovation team arrived, consisting of over 50 people and five trucks loaded with equipment. They proceeded to renovate Park Jimin's entire house, except for his and his parents' private rooms. In less than three short hours, the renovation team had completed the entire house, all without prior planning. They utilized only high-quality imported materials. The labor cost for the renovation team alone for a single day amounted to nearly one million. Upon completion of the work, Zheng Ji Lu began to boast. This isn't destruction. It's renovation, optimization. In the future, our young lady will stay here for a few days. Of course it has to be comfortable. The previous bathroom in your house was too awful. Our young lady has spent money to purchase an imported toilet bowl and renovate the entire bathroom. Now the bathroom has become bright and luxurious, meeting five-star standards. Park Jimin looked at himself in the mirror with utter helplessness, reluctantly accepting this change. Not stopping there, Jung Ji Lu continued to drag Park Jimin to the livestock area. And there's the pigsty of your house, pitch black, completely torturing the animals. Our young lady has bought a luxurious versus bathtub for each pig. Now everything is perfect. Watching Jung Ji Lu renovate the livestock area, Park Jimin was taken aback to the point of almost falling over. Rich people are so peculiar, completely incomprehensible. Heading to the bedroom, Jung Ji Lu proudly exclaimed, All right, now on to the most important room that needs a grand introduction. The room where our young lady will stay for the next few days. Tada, inspired by a television series, this room exudes simple yet elegant beauty, still radiating warmth and romance, enhanced by natural light from the window, adding a gentle touch to the room. The bed, where I put in the most effort, has been completely transformed into a Nordic princess style with sweet pastel colors. Wine Meng Meng cheered joyfully upon seeing Park Jimin arrive. Big Brother is here. Zhe Lu is so amazing. This chair is so comfortable. Park Jimin looked at his sister's radiant smile not knowing what to say, only managing a reluctant smile. Ha ha ha, as long as you like it. Stepping into the living room, Zheng Ji Lu gestured proudly, her face beaming with pride. Every detail in this room has been meticulously chosen by me, using the highest quality materials, ensuring they are completely free of formaldehyde. This not only adds to the elegance and sophistication of the living space, but also ensures absolute safety for health. 
To elevate the living experience, I plan to install an underfloor heating system, providing warmth and relaxation during the cold winter months. Additionally, a satellite phone system will be equipped to facilitate easy communication, regardless of geographical or weather conditions. At this moment, Park Jimin had no words left. Everything in the house had been completely changed, so unfamiliar that he felt lost. Indeed, the young miss, wherever she stays, demands intricacy. I'm not stingy either, but I didn't think Jai Lu could be so extravagant with money, especially when she's only staying here for a few days. When my parents come home, they won't even recognize the house. I'm not coming home to rest. I'm coming home to be a servant. Look at this. Ju Lu is truly remarkable, absolutely, incredibly talented. At the very moment, Jung Ji Lu was enthusiastically introducing the house to Park Jimin, completely unaware. A bodyguard was quietly monitoring them. He quickly dialed his phone to contact Jung Dick, the heir of the Jung family, to report on the situation. Young Master Jung, the plan is going very smoothly. Miss Ji has successfully infiltrated the inner circle. President Bakyun is very interested in cooperation. However, yesterday I deliberately engaged his foster sister in combat to investigate. President Bakyun has extremely terrifying combat abilities. Even though we were prepared, we couldn't match his skill. He moves as fast as lightning, but clearly holds back. I apologize, young Master Jung. We couldn't ascertain President Bakyun's true strength. Jung Dick pondered for a moment before responding. Interest is good enough. As for investigating his true strength, I'll find a way. You must protect Miss Jai well and keep in constant contact with me. After hanging up the phone, Jung Dix took a glass of red wine, turned to the mysterious beautiful woman in front of him, and invited her for a drink. Yu Ling Shuang observed Jung Dix's satisfied expression and raised an eyebrow lightly. So everything is going smoothly. I find President Bakian to be very generous towards women. Miss Lam, being youthful and lively, adds to her beauty. President Bakyun surely won't refuse. Of course, it's going smoothly. I've heard President Bakyun is quite amorous. I sent my sister, and naturally, he showed great interest, especially with the assistance of the Jung family. President Bakyun can boldly proceed with his plan to cut the mustard greens without reservation. After all, he's the one laying out this chessboard. Indeed, young Master Jung, using my sister as bait for a big fish, President Bakyun must be extremely pleased at the moment, thinking his mustard greens harvesting plan is flawless. Unfortunately, while the horse flea catches the cicada, the sparrow lurks behind to seize both. Even if he injects private companies into the investment banks, whether he invests 100 billion or even 200 or 300 billion, I doubt he can withstand the onslaught from the Jin family, tycoons, and the two major domestic investment banks. Moreover, my Jun family plays a pioneering role. What do you think? Yu Ling Shuang took a sip of red wine, a suggestive smile curling her lips. This move is truly ingenious. When the Zheng and Jin families cast their nets, he'll wish he could retract his words. The plan has succeeded. Now, I should move on to the next step. It's truly regrettable for a carefully laid out plan, only to end up making wedding dresses for others. At this moment, Yu Ling Shuang's ample bosom shone brighter than ever illuminating the suggestive smile on Jung Dick's lips. Are you planning to leave already? Why the rush? Is my wine not to your taste? It's delicious. But waiting until everything is resolved will make its flavor even richer and smoother. You're absolutely right, you, he remarked. Since being taken in and raised by the Li family like a stray dog, Yu Ling Shuang had used her exceptional intelligence to climb to her current position. No one would have thought that the girl who had been treated like an animal could now manipulate everyone like a puppet. That night, Yu Ling Shuang got into her car and headed back to the city of Tianmen. Her goal was to infiltrate the inner circle and find a way to approach President Bakian sensibly. It's best to stay close to him, like Zheng Ji Lu, and eventually maneuver him into a desperate situation. If President Bakian and Zheng Dick are similar, then when I approach him, he won't be able to resist my beauty trap, she thought. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't hesitate to hit the like and share buttons. Your support is a huge motivation for me to continue creating more videos. Additionally, there are many other interesting story videos on my channel, so feel free to check them out. Thank you.